if I had to describe my fashion, I don't think I could. <laughs> I like dressing in t-shirts, but I also like dressing in sweaters and dungarees and sweater vests and trendy, sometimes trendy, sometimes not trendy, sometimes cottagecore. I'm a weird one. Hello, hi, welcome back to my awkward, <laughs> to my channel. Lucy can hear me from the other room, that's why. She's in the other room. So, I don't think I've made an outfits video since my first ever video on this channel, which was my school outfits of the week that I did. So I don't think I've done an outfit video since then, and I was like, that has to change, yes. So, if I had to describe my fashion, I don't think I could. It's very complicated. Like, I like dressing in t-shirts, but I also like dressing in sweaters and dungarees and sweater vests and trendy, sometimes trendy, sometimes not trendy, sometimes cottagecore. I'm a weird one. My style kind of floats everywhere. So I thought I'd put together 10 of my favourite spring outfits that I, I've worn most of them. If you watch my vlogs, you've seen me wearing a lot of these and I'm going to give them all fun names so that's gonna be fun anyway let's get into outfit number one okay this first outfit I like to call the early 2000s fan <laughs> it's the only way I can think about it basically I have this Mean Girls t-shirt that I got from Primark and it says on Wednesdays we wear pink it's probably one of my staple pieces of clothing. And I have this shirt underneath. It's actually a crop top with a butterfly on it, but it really works for like an underneath pink tie-dye layering thing. And I got this from Shein. I also got this necklace from Shein. Um, it's a little butterfly pink necklace, which I think goes well with the outfit. I wore this outfit and took some pictures from my Instagram. I will link my Instagram down below, but I took some pictures and I really loved it. So I was like, I have to include this in my spring video obviously, but yeah, I love this early 2000s vibe going on. I'm getting very into that. I feel like it, it's a very trendy thing that's coming back in, which is kind of cool, I love that. I'm just wearing some basic leggings, as I probably will be with most of my outfits, unless it's a dress or I'm wearing a skirt, because most of the time in spring I wear leggings. I don't have any jeans at this house, because my dad lives here and my mum lives at another house, and I have most of my jeans at the other house, so anyway. Let's move on to outfit number two. Ta-da! Okay, this outfit is what I like to call the Beverly Marsh. <laughs> basically, if you've seen the It movie, you'll know why this is called the Beverly Marsh. It's basically, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna put a comparison picture here so you get the idea. So I have these green dungarees, which are like, they're really short and they're really cute. And I got it from H&M, I think. This shirt's from Primark or H&M. I'm not, actually no, I think this shirt's from Select. I'm trying to remember where all of this is from. <laughs> anyway, so I wear this outfit more than I should, especially since I cut my hair because it gives off the whole Bev Marsh kind of vibe. Um, not all of these outfits I'm going to pair with shoes, but I had to pair them with these shoes. <laughs> it's so hard to show the camera my shoes right now. Basically, they're these really cute, like almost like combat boots. They're actually my sister's. Thanks, Lizzie. Um, but they work really well with the outfit. And I'm also wearing a bracelet and this key necklace because Beverly always wears her house key. So my mum got me this because it reminded her of Coraline. I got it for Christmas. I have no idea where it's from, but it totally works for the whole. Bev Marsh vibe. If you love Beverly, just get a pair of green dungarees and <laughs> a maroon shirt. Anyway, moving on to outfit number three. Okay, this outfit is one I like to call the Rose Garden. <laughs> I'm so creative when it comes to names. Anyway, so I've got this really cute rose tight dress. If you look really closely, it has like little roses with leaves on it. I love it. Um, I also have a green one, but that's actually Lucy's, but there's a green version of this dress that I have, but I wanted to display the pink one because it's very springy and very cute. Uh, this is from Primark. It was like one of my favorite dresses I found there. I literally saw it and was like, I need that. Thank you. And this is a really cute checkered headband. I have no idea where this is from because I got it for Christmas, but it's honestly the cutest thing ever. Um, I didn't put any jewelry on. Usually I probably will, but I've actually ordered some rings, which would have worked really well for this outfit, but obviously they haven't come in yet. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is really beautiful, especially when it's sunny outside and it's like picnic cottage core vibes. Also, I'm wearing these blue lace-ups. 
This is such a professional video. Ah! Okay, I'm wearing these blue pastel lace ups. I just think lace ups with a uh, dress is just, it gives the whole vibe that you do want to go running in a field, but you also want to be safe. Safety field! Should have called it safety field. Anyway, let's move on to outfit number four. <laughs> Okay, this next outfit I like to call the Remus Lupin. <laughs> Basically, obviously there's the whole sweater vest trend going around. I managed to find this in a thrift store and I remember looking at it and saying I want it. Usually I would wear a button up under here, but since the weather is warmer, I thought I'd hop on the trend of just wearing a sweater vest as it is. It's really cute and also I have these like amazing uh trousers that are just really like dark academia this outfit is very dark academia obviously i know most of the st spring trends are like pastel colored sweater vests but i really like the sweater vest and i wanted to put it in a video so this seemed like the perfect opportunity also i forgot to add an accessory for a minute if you want to get the rima sloop in look the best thing you can do is literally have a bracelet saying padfoot on it lucy's got one that says mooney on it which would have been perfect for this but you know since they're in love you need to <laughs> wear padfoot so yeah this is the um rima sloop in style outfit probably one of my favorites because i love anything preppy i love preppy outfits they're like my favorite thing ever anyway um let's get ready for outfit number five okay this outfit is one that i like to call the Anne shirley cuthbert <laughs> basically i ordered this outfit because it reminded me of and of Green Gables and I was like I need it. I actually have a hat but it's not here but it's like the perfect hat. This is from Romwe. Um, it was really cheap. Also I got this necklace for my birthday. Um, you shine like a light through it and it says I love you in every single language which is so cool. Um, but yeah this is just um, a very short cute almost like a pinafore dress and with a really loose frilled t-shirt underneath which is really good for when the weather's really sunny because it's not like too tight on you it's very loose fitted and flowy and very springy the almost mint pastel green is very spring color anyway and just Anne of Green Gables makes me think of spring all the time but yeah I thought you know if you want to go for a more farm girl fun loose spring outfit this one's pretty cool let's move on to outfit number six Woo! okay this outfit I like to call lover folklore <laughs> kind of mixes both the Taylor Swift albums together. This is like a really sweet plaid skirt that I got from Primark. I also got this from Primark. I shop at Primark a lot, okay? And it's very cute and a really nice um, checkered pink cardigan. It gives off lover vibes, but it's a cardigan. So I was like, lover folklore, lover lore. <laughs> Woo! The butterfly necklace I showed in the first outfit would go really well with this, but I love this just kind of without any accessories. I really like it. Usually I would do different hairstyles, but this is kind of the hairstyle I want today, so. I would usually wear like some kind of tank top under this. I've actually ordered one that I think would go great under this cardigan. You can just wear cardigans so many different ways and they always look so cute. This is probably one of my favorite cardigans and it's good when it's warm, but it's also got a breeze. So then like you're warm, but you're not cold if you get what I mean. So yes, this is definitely one of my faves. Very fun, I love it very much. And I'm very excited for outfit number seven. It's probably the ultimate outfit. Okay, outfit number seven is coming. I know it's the wrong dress, but I really wanted it. I obviously call this one the La La Land dress. because it is literally Mia's dress <laughs> from La La Land. I bought like a replica of it online. It's really cute. It, it, I got it from, uh, I can't remember what, I think I got it from a website called Jolly Vintage, but they are so cool because they made a replica of this dress and I own it and oh my God, it's like my favorite dress ever because La La Land's one of my favorite musicals. So totally worth it. It's the most spring vibe ever. Anyway, ready for outfit number eight. Whee! I call this one, the Donna Sheridan. Basically, an essential for me in spring is 100% dungarees. Very Mamma Mia. They're just an amazing thing, I think, because they're like not too tight. Most of them are quite baggy and they won't keep you too warm. So it's like perfect for that whole 
transitional weather. Um, I got these from H&M. I remember they were like £30, but they're totally worth it because they've never like worn out or anything. I got this shirt from Primark about two years ago, but it goes really well with the dungarees because it's a pastel colour and spring is all about the pastels. Sometimes... I will wear it with cute headband. I actually really like this. This is really cute. Oh my gosh. I feel like another farm girl. We're bringing the farm core back, guys. It's great. Okay, moving on to outfit number nine. Woo! Okay, so I'm officially calling this outfit Pink Caspian. <laughs> Instead of Prince Caspian, eh? Mainly because the shirt is so Caspian, like Narnia Caspian vibes, and I love it. And we've got like this cute little pink cardigan to pair it with. It's very, I feel like a sailor, but also like a, a really big nerd. Um, so I've just got these leggings on, whoop. I bought all of this is from Primark. I have a Primark shopping addiction. So it's really cute and frilled and has these buttons and just reminds me of a totally like, cool sailor, kind of Elizabeth Swan vibes. And I love the cardigan, the cardigan. You can wear it without the cardigan. I just really love pastel colors. I wanted to add a little pop of pastel. It's just so cool. So yes, pink Caspian. <laughs> God, I need to get a life. Anyway, time for the final outfit, outfit number 10. Woo! Okay, I call this outfit the Lucy Pevensey. So there's been a few Narnia names for these clothes because I love Narnia. But yes, it's I got this from a thrift store and it's so, so cute. It's like one of my favorite outfits I own for spring. It's very bright and very bold colors, but it still matches with the spring vibe. Got some cute little flowers. Navy and red go so well together. It's just so cute and it reminds me like I'm going to a professor's house to go into a wardrobe and find a snowy land, even though this is meant to be spring, but I'm talking about snow. <sighs> anyway, so yes, I adore this outfit. If you can find anything like this in thrift stores and you really like love this kind of style clothing, my advice is buy it because it's just so worth it and it makes for some great Narnia outfits. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I can't believe this is the last outfit. Oh. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I have not made a fashion video in so long. I love clothes, I love styling, I love anything that involves wearing cool and trendy clothes, just stuff like that. So if you want to see any more fashion videos, please tell me. Also, um, if you're new here, hi. My name's Amy. Please feel free to subscribe. It'd be really nice. Be really cool. I make music content, I make fashion content, I make book content. So if you think that is up your alley, then press the subscribe button. I will see you in my next video and yeah.